Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy DHR2. Um, one more video for today. Um, <clears throat> um, I don't know um, if y'all were aware of um, Gucci Mane. Um, Gucci Mane uh, did some Eminem on a, a radio interview. And for some odd reason, I feel like Gucci Mane was completely wrong about this saying that he don't, he don't think Eminem is the king of hip-hop. Um, first of all, dude, your music sucks and the only reason why you're saying is because you're jealous. You're just mad because you're not up there one of the greatest hip-hop artists ever. So, I think Eminem might come out with a diss track on Gucci Mane because, number one, his music is trash. Uh, I think he uses auto tools, um, auto tunes way too much. He, he may be a, a new Gucci man, but his music still sucks. And he's even a mumble rapper now. I mean, back then, his music just sucks. And, to, and still sucks now. So, and to make matters worse, the Migos, one of the most hated hip-hop groups, in my opinion. I, I Guys, I don't like the Migos. I don't like their music. It's awful. It's trash. That they make. They made terrible music. They don't have. They, they do not have the lyrical ability to put out great songs. Like, come on. I don't like Momo rappers. I don't like Migos. If they're not lyrical, no. The A flows that gotta stop. And also, Wiz Khalifa did a response to them dissing Bone Thugs and Harmony. And yes, Bone Thugs and Harmony music is good. Because even back then, they put out some hit records and great songs. But for the Migos to even put out something that disrespect, you know, the legends. That should tell you something about today's WWE stars. You know, everybody's too busy disrespecting old school wrestlers. But let's just say that it goes both ways. The new generation hates old school old school his new generation so it's the new generation that's putting out trash music so I think Wiz Khalifa might go off on them so and the Migos suck by the way I don't care what y'all say so we're, we're gonna go ahead and check this video out Shout out all over Central. It's boy Gua. yo what up I just want to weigh in on the old nigga young nigga situation um a lot of these goats these legends um, they are. We all love so much. Uh, when y'all were like 19, 20, 21, uh, your parents probably thought your music was trash as well. The music that you listened to and enjoyed. Um, and they weren't really trying to get in the studio and compete. You know what I'm saying? And um, the crazy thing is a lot of the goats and legends now, they have kids that are 16, 17, you know, all the way up to 21. And this is the music that they enjoy. Um, and the craziest thing about it is it's not a competition this is art a lot of people want to talk about money but this is art and art is progressive art moves forward so a lot of people should just enjoy the artisticness of it as opposed to trying to compete and put money into it that is kind of true just let people move forward and have as much fun as possible and create and um that's and the crazy do. and the crazy thing about this um what he said about music is supposed to be art not supposed to be competing with everybody else like that got me thinking about these mumble rappers try to imitate Lil Wayne, try to copy everything he does instead of being creative on their own, instead of trying to be like everybody else. And when you actually think about it, it, it all of that makes a lot of sense, you know? And, I mean, Wiz Khalifa is kind of right on some things, though. You know, some of the members of the uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony got kids, teens in their 20s and today's music they listen to but in my opinion I think they need to get a chance to listen to some lyrical hip hop because they're, they're the ones that started it first not these new MCs You know what? Talking about they the best you know ever. Speaking of the kingdom R&B, who is this? Who is this guy? 
comes out of his mouth saying that who, who like they're the king of king of R and B. Whoever sit that blowing smoke right off his nose. Like, come on, bruh. There is no such thing as king of R and B. Everybody is a great singer. Some are good, some are bad. That does not mean that they are the king of R and B. Like that just doesn't make any sense. Whoever said that needs to stop smoking weed and just just hush up. Best rap group ever or whatever they say it. I'm just here to set the record straight. Bone thugs and harmony, we still all five live, baby. Crazy busy wish flesh and myself lazy bone. Going up, see. Look escape. Look escape out the sign to the gang. Y'all see this crap? Down here. Oh, you get Hold on. Down here. Where it all happens. Who is this? You did it. Hold on. Okay, I don't know who this is. Snapshot it. All that. Yep. Joints for the rest of my life. Joints for the rest of my life. Congratulations, Congratulations boy. Yeah. Gang, 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 you have, you have no business disrespecting the, you know, Bone Thugs or Harmony, especially if it comes from the Migos, one of the most trash hip-hop groups ever. So, there I said it. Y'all enjoyed this video. Subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram, DHR2. Signing out.